Hey guys, I'm back from my unannounced break. Now, here's a lazy smashing video for a warm welcome back. A lot has happened while I was on break. The most significant being Apple announcing a VR headset. And I made a promise to destroy one without even knowing the price first. But there are some people who doubt I have the funds to do so. Apple Vision Pro starts at $3499. $3,500? They're right! I don't want to waste that much money! So, I guess I have to practice by destroying another overpriced tech product you also wear on your head by another overpriced brand. No, too cheap. It's Dyson! They're basically headphones with air purification. Mmm. They're only a thousand dollars. Perfect for practicing. Mm. Uh. What's in the box? Manuals. More practice. Coffee filters and a Dyson branded USB-C cable. Now that's a flex. I'm keeping this. And what's this? Is it for your nose or something? And finally, the bedpan? Oh, UPS has a lot of explaining to do. How do you open this? Uh, oh, that's Dyson quality, that's Dyson quality. Ah, uh, it's pinching me. Uh, oh. Here we have a uh, Dyson sack with a snorkel inside, some fun snacks for later, and the headphones themselves. Mmm. What do I have to do to look like a jackass? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Step one, put in the coffee filters. Uh. Step two, put on the snorkel. Oh, upside down, of course. I'm too drunk for this right now. Perfect. Step three, plug her in, but only with the official Dyson USB-C cable. Ugh. Ugh. There we go. Hmm, I wonder. Ah! Step, uh, I have a drinking problem. Get rid of all the waste! And finally, step five, boot her up! Wait, I'm forgetting something. Well, at least I already have the app downloaded. Add machine. Ah, my IP address! Ah, 1984! I already did that, I'm not stupid. Put on your headphones. Yeah, that's kind of confusing. I need to watch the video. Ooh, I get it now. Wow. And the headphones are asking me again to keep track of my social credit. No, prepare your visor. But what would happen if you pull it past its limits? Oops. Next, attach your visor. Wow, I look like a jackass. Who could have saw that coming? And it smells like cancer! That's it. Oh wait, I almost forgot this is a modern piece of technology. Ugh, enough time for a drink! I'm just breathing the alcohol at this point. Oh my god. I need another drink. Finally, I was running out of dumb things to do. No, I wasn't. Okay, no more messing around. Back to this very serious tech review. If you've watched other reviews of this product, you would know that MKBHD said that these blow and suck. But not the good kind. And I, Justine, apparently likes anything. 
Not only are you getting the benefits of noise cancellation and noise pollution. What those reviewers didn't do was let you experience these for yourself. All right, let's hear those tunes. Bass boosted, of course. And you can see right here if the sound from the music or the environment is destroying your ears. Let's play some tunes and turn it up. Don't worry, it was below the recommended limit, so you should be fine. Now breathe in that fresh air. Mmm. You can also see how good or bad the air quality is. Let's test it by starting this car in this closed garage. Hit it! Wow! It works! Now kids, this is dangerous. Please don't try this at home. I'm a professional- Alright, this is just funny and sad. In the app, when it's syncing data, and if you ask why this is slow, one of the suggestions is to share your location always with the app. What regime do these come from? Alright, we're finally at the part you've been waiting for, and what makes my channel unique? The durability test! If you see any other tech channel do that, they're infringing on my copyright. What tool are we gonna be using? It's the Dyson vacuum featured in the video where I destroyed my first Dyson product! Aww! Anyway, the battery finally gave out and my family didn't want to spend the horrifying amount of $95 to replace it. So let's use it as a tool one last time to destroy this new, weird, overpriced, useless tech product. Safety first! Face first! Three, two, one! All right, the damage to this Dyson looks like the battery is popping out slightly. It's not lighting up anymore. And the filter popped out, but that's pretty much it. And for the other Dyson, looks like as expected, the face thing took the most damage. And here's the headphones. I see a dent already, and it picked up some wheat. And let's see if they still work. Unfortunately, the overpriced sensors in these can detect that this isn't a real head, so we have to do some human testing. Music still working and the air purification is still working. Unfortunately, it lives on. Top down. Three, two, one. Not noticing any more immediate damage, but unfortunately, he has the gamer headset concave now. Music and air purification unfortunately still working. Right side sweep. Three, two, one. That dent doesn't seem so bad now. Compared to the newest one, same old, same old. Left side sweep. Three, two, one. Another dent, and it looks like I hit this plastic part, which I expected to shatter, but it held up. That's Dyson quality for you. But I do hear the fan on this side starting to give out. Also, I'm pretty sure the snorkel part cracked a while ago, but I didn't notice cause Dyson quality. In order to beat the new tech, we have to upgrade the old tech. Just get rid of this too, and there we go. Oh, we also have to be crueler to our test subjects too. Three, two, one. Damn, even with a direct hit and a crack already in it, this thing refuses to break. Unfortunately, it doesn't offer great protection. You're definitely gonna draw a lot of attention out in public now. If you weren't already. Three, two, one!
Once again, expected. The only thing that happened was brain damage. You're just lying down for a nap when all of a sudden you hear a three, two, one. Ah, yep, they definitely left their mark on each other. And can this piece just snap back on? Yes! I'm gonna be very surprised if these things still work. At first it said it couldn't connect, but then they connected! Except the part that reads the air quality is broken now. Oh, the air quality reading came back on! Yes! Now I know I'm safe from nature! Damn, he's a heavy sleeper. Three, two, one. The Dyson vacuum is definitely ready for retirement now, but it has left its mark in more ways than one. Now I'm rooting for these stupid things now. Yes, I heard the setup chime. Let's see. Yes, it is still pretty much fully functional. So if you get assaulted while you're out in public wearing these, they'll still work. But you'll probably not end off any better. Mmm. Actually, I think this vacuum still has a bit of life left in it. It played the startup noise once, then never again. And yep, could not connect. And I think I found the reason. Wait. What the hell? They better not. Oh my god. Yep, the music and air filtration is kinda still working. But now I can't call this video smashing a Dyson with a Dyson, since these still work and the vacuum is basically reduced to a stick. What am I supposed to do with this? Hmm. Pinata! I want candy. Wow! Ladies and gentlemen, the evil has been defeated! Who would ever want or need to use these? I think about when I go to New York, how disgusting I feel just breathing the air from big cities. Oh, of course. This final durability test goes out to all my fans in New York. Can these fans handle New York air? Nope. <coughs> New York air is too hazardous. We're gonna need a bigger filter. Why didn't it work? Woo! Thank you, alcohol addiction. Why didn't I just use the sand? Here's what's left of the New Yorker. Wow, the training is done. And even though it's not as expensive, I think I'm ready to take on the Apple Vision Pro. Oh, hold on, I gotta take this. Hello? Hi. This is the bank. We have decided to freeze all your accounts due to your stupid spending. Goodbye. No! <laughs> Why would the bank do this to me? <laughs> hmm. 
Maybe it's because after I was done destroying the Dyson, I didn't want to use my personal Dyson to clean up the destroyed Dyson, so I just bought a brand new Dyson, which probably died like the other Dyson, from doing that. <laughs> I understand my bank's feelings now. And so with that, thank you guys for watching, comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to properly dispose of your waste. And I'll see you guys later. Wait. You sure about that, bro? There may not be a later. I gotta go! Okay, I didn't watch the iFixit video until now, and I thought the batteries were in here, but it turns out this is a battery, and the other battery is in here. So yeah, I probably would have removed them sooner if I knew that they were this exposed. Crisis averted! Uh... Let's just say it completely died.